Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Janice. I'm a Thermomix consultant. Every year on my kids' birthday, they get to choose what birthday cake um, that they would like. And my youngest son always chooses a cheesecake. So, and he likes sweet cheesecakes. He likes a Rocky Road cheesecake or a Mars bar cheesecake or something like that. Um, we've done a Snickers cheesecake this year. Um, we decided on a Biscoff cheesecake. So while I was searching the recipes um, community and the uh, cookie do for a recipe for a Biscoff cheesecake, I come across a recipe for Biscoff spread. So the Biscoff cheesecake that I actually found contains Biscoff spread. Um, and so I decided I would make that today. So it's in, it's on Cookie Do, and it is, uh, I'm just gonna look to see what recipe book it's in. Not sure. Can't see what recipe book it's in, right yet. So in the meantime, we're gonna start cooking. So first of all, it says to add um, 250 grams of Biscoff biscuits. And then we'll go tear. So I've taken a little. And this is a 250 gram packet of biscuits. And then we're going to crunch them up. Right here. So it's to pop the lid on. And we're going to, for five seconds, we're going to process them at speed five. Okay. Next. And it says to get the spatula and just scrape down the sides. So that was a full packet of biscuits, five seconds speed five, and we have biscuit crumbs. Think of that for your um, cheesecake base. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to add 150 grams of water. Get on. And then 30 grams of golden syrup. Um, quarter of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Pop the lid on with the simmering basket. Okay, now we'll find the simmering basket. And we're gonna cook that for five minutes at 100 degrees um, with on speed one. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna have a look and find my simmering basket. It'll be in the sink, because I've already used it today. Um, and I'll be back when the five minutes is up. ready for the next step. It says leave closed mixing bowl in place for five minutes. Oh yeah, so I'll set the time for five minutes and I'll leave it alone. Ready go. Um, we've got five seconds to go. Oh yeah. So next, it says to add 85 grams of cold coconut oil that's still a little bit liquid. It's still liquid. So that's what I've got here.
eighty four grams right now. Okay, next, now it says to pop the lid back on I'm with the measuring cup. And then we're going to say so it's just one minute speed for to combine the um, coconut oil. I'm going to have a look because I'm just wondering if I actually like the, the crunchy biscoff spread. I'm just wondering if they've got an option in the tips to, to make it crunchy. Um, no, it just tells you that if your um, coconut oil is not um, cold, to put it in the fridge. There we go. So we'll continue. And next, so it just says transfer into a glass jar and refrigerate for two hours or until needed. So let's see what we've got here. Right now we're going to pop it in the jar. And um, once it's cold, we'll have a look. It's quite. Um, I'll put that in the jar and I'll put it in the fridge and I'll come back uh, when it's cold. So I had this sinking feeling at the end of that last step, but I hadn't read my recipe correctly, and there's still a couple more steps. So it says to transfer into a glass jar and refrigerate for two hours or until chilled. So that's actually been in the fridge a bit longer than that because I've had other things to do. Um, and then clean the mixing bowl, which I have done. I have a shiny clean mixing bowl. And then it says to place the chilled spread back into the mixing bowl. I've already got it out this way. coming out. Initially put it in a in the bottle, but um, before I put it in the fridge, I decided that it would be better in the bowl, and I'm certainly glad that I took it out of that bottle. Those of you that have watched me, my videos before, will know that I have an, an extreme aversion to leaving food, to wasting food by not getting it all out of the bowl. Oh, yeah. So that's that chill spread. And we're going to put the cup, the measuring cup. I'll oh, put the lid with the measuring cup. And then we're going to um, blend that on speed 7 for 40 seconds.
Serve spread on toast or simply enjoy with a spoonful from the jar. Um, store in the refrigerator in an airtight jar. So we'll have a quick look. That's it there. Might give it a scrape around. And that's what we were expecting it to look like the first time. I'll get a spoon and have a little taste. And I'll tell you if it tastes like the store bought one. Mm. That tastes exactly like the store bought one. Mm. I'm going to put that into a jar. Mm. And I'm going to put it in the fridge. And then um, when I go to make the cheesecake, this is what I'm going to use. Mm, delicious. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, pop over to my channel, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time.